When I was in, I was in a band called No Use for a Name prior to being in, in the Foo Fighters, and the singer for No Use, Tony Sly, was really into bands like Uncle Tupelo, and, and this was right around the time that, that they had broken up and become Wilco and, and Sun Gold, yeah. and you know the old ninety sevens and Whiskey Town, all that stuff that was that was happening right. um, at that time. Um, he was really into, and we would listen to that like you know we're in a van, it's just a bunch of guys in a van. So you, and and he was the the band leader, so he usually got to control the stereo. So he turned me on to all that stuff. And then, um, and from that, I just kind of kept, you know, I just wanted to, like, oh, I love that Sun Volt record, you know, what, what were they listening to? Mm. And you just kind of keep peeling it back. But then a buddy of mine, I remember asking a friend of mine that was, that, you know, that does know country music, and I said, God, I love that old honky-tonk sound, but I just don't know shit about it, mm. you know? What, what should I listen to? And that's the guy, my friend Kevin Smith. He said, um, he said, get the Buck Owens box set, get the Merle Haggard box set, get some Wynn Stewart, and um, you know, I f get some Ray Price or something. So that that was sort of like my honky tonk starter kit long ago. All those and guys, I, incredible songwriters, right. right? Yeah, yeah, and great players. I mean, I think a big part of what drew me to it was probably the guitar playing. You mm. know, I'm a guitar player first, above all else, and I love that. I just love those old honky tonk guitar sounds and.